Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA driver seven segment display run on board. So, uh, in previous video, we um, coding and simulation every module for the seven segment display. Now it's time to run it on board. In the, uh, I'm using this board. I designed this board by myself. And uh, this is a uh, Atara Cyclone FPGA. And uh, uh, this is a JTAG. And uh, I output all the pin here and here. So we can test any sensor, any other devices on this board. Uh, also including the seven segment display, of course. So um, since it is a, a terrible and, and now we call it is um, Intel FPGA, uh, we use uh, Quartus software to create the project. So uh, we a uh, new project visa. So next, and the working folder director is, we put it under this folder. So the project's name is seven segment. Uh, because it asks the name of the top level design entry, we give it a segment seven top. Next, empty project. We added all the file we uh, coding and simulated before. Um, it is D driver and this FPGA call is in this one. So this is a control data driver top open. Okay, so next, uh, we use the Cyclone 4 and QFP and 144 and 8 speed grade. Okay, so this is this one. Next, next, and the fish. So it's creating the project. It's creating the project. Wait a moment. Okay, now um, it finished. At first, we do a little bit of uh, setting assignment setting here we uh, change a little bit about the compile setting we use all available processor uh, because my computer is it has four processor so i use all of it to speed the uh, compile processor so the next things we need to guarantee our 13 is for running on the board, uh, not is for the simulation. So first thing is uh, uh, data. So here we need to open the first one. It is get the one second delay for the 50 megahertz. Uh, the, the next one here, this is just for simulation, okay? And also, we need to take a look at control module, the same places. This is one microsecond delay to switch every segment display, to switch each segment display, okay? 
So next step is to analysis and the synthesis. Double click it. It will compile it by itself. Give it some time. Just a moment. Okay, it finished. Zero errors, zero warnings. It's perfect. So uh, before we press and route, we need to do the pin config. Use the pin planner. Click it. So it is here. It's here. Okay, so this is our interface. It's one clock, one reset, and the three pin for the uh, seven segment display. So we need to assign the pin number for it uh, from the our uh, schematic. We can get the pin like this. The clock is pin 32, a uh, pin 23 is here. And this one is this one, 110 is data. And this one is 104. And this one is 106. It's 106. And this one is 30. OK. So it match our ball here, it match our ball. And the, you will take a look here, um, 23, 23 is running here. So clock is con connected to 23 and the data is 110. 110 is here. 110 is here. Um, 110 is here. 104. 104 is here. And uh, 106. 106 is here. This place is. Okay. So it's around here. It's around here. The pin connection. Let's go back to the in player and the IO standard we use 3.3 volt LVC mouse is all like this click here to setting it click here we need to set all of it Okay, setting each of it. Okay, so we finish all the setting for the pin. Uh, you can continue setting the carrying strings. You just keep it as default. It's fine. So I uh, just uh, um. Close it, it will save it. Okay, so the next step we press and router. Double click it, it will run the place uh, and press and router. It is uh, much faster than the analysis and the sensors.
Okay, I think I need a bit of time. Uh, almost a finish. Okay, finish. So the next step is to assemble, is generate programming files. Double click here. Just a moment. Okay, it's finished. So the last step is to program devices. Double click here, program devices. Okay, so we use our USB blaster and uh, uh, to download the software into our board. Click here and start. Okay, so next step, uh, let me open my camera to see the result. Okay, so this is the result. You will see the clock is running and uh, every second, uh, every second it increased by one. Uh, 23, 24, 25, 26. And uh, when it arrive nine, it will increase this speed. When this speed in, uh, arrive nine, it will increase this speed. Okay, so this is uh, uh, a seven segment display actually without running on FPGA four. Okay, so uh, that's it. And um, this is our uh, FPGA driver seven segment display run, run on board. And uh, I'm Michael. I hope you like it. Uh, thank you for your watching. See you next time.